All right, multiplying by the FOIL method. Okay. Um, now the FOIL method, the word FOIL is an acronym for first times first, outer times outer, inner times inner, and last times last. Now, the FOIL method only works when you're multiplying binomials together. This will not work on any other kind of monomial times polynomial, polynomial times polynomial, trinomial times trinomial. This only works when we're multiplying binomials. Okay, so for example, b minus three times b minus four. So the first thing is, is that two binomials? Yes it is, the eights both have two terms. So I'm simply going to do this. <clears throat> I'm going to take the first term times the first term. So first times first is b times b, which is b squared. Okay, then we're gonna take outer times outer. Okay, outer times outer is, I always change plus negative, as you know by now. That is plus negative four times B. Then I'm gonna take inner times inner. And then I'm going to take the last term times the last term. Okay. So we had the first term of each parenthesis times itself. That one I just did right there. I could have written this down here just like I did the rest of them. But we know b times b is b squared. So there it is. The next one is outer, the outer term times the outer term, negative four times the B. Then we come inside, inner term times the inner term, negative three times B. And then the last one is the last term, or um, there it is, the last term times the last term. And that's your negative three times negative four. Did you get the hang of this? Right. Yeah, it becomes second it nature. Hey. So you have b squared plus negative 7b plus 12. Okay, and then when you're doing the FOIL method, the two middle terms, if you do it properly, will always be the two terms you put together. So, of course, your final answer would be the b squared minus 7b plus 12. Okay, let's give another example. <clears throat> Go g plus 3 times g minus 3. Uh, I don't want to do that one yet. I'll do that. I'm not going to do that one yet because it's Let's look at, go back up here, Z, man, I have any pluses, there's one, there, W minus 6 times W plus 8. I'm going to do plus negative, so I take first times first, so the FOIL would be W times W. 
So it was first times first. The second one is the outer times outer. Well, what are the two outer terms? W and 8. So that is 8 times W. Then the inner times inner. Let me do this one first. Outer times outer. That was this one. Now the inner times the inner. Negative 6 times W. And then the last times the last. Is equal to negative 6 times 8. Now, since I've changed everything to plus and negative, and I can just simply take that information and say W times W is what? So it's W squared plus 8W plus negative 6W plus negative 48. Once again, the two middle terms, if you do it right, those two things are put together, giving me W squared plus 2W minus 48. If it has you know, two plus signs, like this one here, y plus 9 times y plus 9. Still doesn't matter. It's still the same. The f would be y times y. The outer would be what? Y, yeah, 9 times Y. Inner would be what? Yeah, 9 times Y. Last would be 9 times 9. So that would be Y squared plus these two together would be what? 18Y plus 81. We had this, A plus B times A plus B. So the F would be equal to what? A times A, right? Let's, okay. The outer would be equal to what? A times B. Inner would be equal to A times B. Last would be equal to B times B. So this, A squared. This is AB. This is AB. If I put those two together, 2AB. And this would be B squared. So A squared plus B squared. Oops, excuse me. Got ahead of myself. I was going to put that last term in there. 2AB plus B squared. Now, it doesn't change if I introduce two C minus nine, four C minus eleven. So up to this point, my first term did not have a numerical coefficient with it. Okay, it doesn't change anything. The, the process is still a process. First times first. So first times first would be what? Well, hang on here. Plus negative, plus negative. My first times first would be what? Be 2C times 4C. 
Outer times outer. Yeah. 2C times negative 11. Inner times inner. Negative 9 times 4C. And last times last. So that gives me 8C squared plus negative 22C plus negative 36C plus 99. Put those two together. Gives me 8C squared minus what? 58C plus positive 99. Remember, first times first, outer times outer, inner times inner, and last times last. So this is our first. This is our this is our outer. This is our inner. And that's our last. Put that F in the actual. I want you to try this one on your own. 5z plus 6 times 2z minus 7. All right. So... <clears throat> That should be 10z squared plus 12z yeah I got ahead of myself that's the should be actually 10z squared then it should be negative 35z plus 12z plus negative 42. That gives me 10z squared minus 23z minus 42. Did I get that? Yeah. All right. Last one, 2D cubed plus 3B times 3B cubed plus 4B. <clears throat> now remember our rules for adding terms is my exponent has to be the same on the variable. So I can't put 2B to the third plus 3B together. Okay. can't do that. Uh, so it's still the same method, FOIL method, still doing the same. So the F would equal 2B to the third times 3B to the third. The O would equal 2B to the third times 4B. The I would equal 3B times 3B to the third. The L would equal 3B times 4B. So that gives me first term is what? Six B to the sixth power plus 
the O would give me what? 8B to the 4th plus the I. Nine B to the fourth. Glad Thomas came today. And the last term would be twelve B to the second. I put these two together, giving me my final answer. And I told a I told a little fib. Not my last one. I forgot to do. I need to do one that's. Uh, let me look here. I'll just make this one up. <clears throat> All right. So this one. There's not anything different about it. Your answer is just going to look different. That's why I wanted to do one. So your four, your F would be equal to two B, or not to B. Two B times two B. That's plus a negative. Your outer times outer would be two B times negative four. Your inner times inner would be two B times four. And your last times last would be negative four times four. So first times first would give you what? 4B squared. 4B squared plus outer times outer. Negative 8B plus 8B plus negative 16. Those, yes, they cancel. So it gives me 4B squared. That would be zero. Minus 16. There are, a couple, there, are, there are a couple of them that you'll get a binomial as your answer instead of the trinomial. Okay. Yeah, the only reason that was is because this is a plus and a negative, and these terms are exactly the same. The only time it will occur. Okay, we'll learn more about that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What was that, Miss Macy? Nothing. All right, homework is 1 through 42. 1 through 42 even. No, it literally, it literally takes you to like, I only have two sections left in this chapter, so.